Hey, I'm Laura Daniel, and welcome to Laura Loves New York. We're in one of my favorite spots. We are in Central Park, right by the lake, right by Bethesda Fountain. And this takes me on a bit of a time warp back to the end of the winter when I got to meet actress, writer, producer Constance Saitun and hear all about her cool new series that's sweeping up awards all over the country, Constance Cooks. So let's go back in time and meet Constance. So Constance! <laughs> I would love to know, can you tell us a little bit about Constance Cooks? Only if you <laughs> sing the title every time. <laughs> It's a show within a show. Constance plays a woman who spent the last 10 years getting her PhD in feminist yep. art. That would be me. She has an adorable <coughs> husband named Mark. My partner in crime. Yes, Mark Stuart Weitz. What about our $200,000 in student loans that we have? Uh, you have. If you die, I don't have to pay those back. <laughs> Working as an adjunct doesn't pay much, so this helps until a full-time position comes along. They never come along, Connie. But. I have a secret passion. I love food. I came up with the idea of that it's a woman who's trying to create the show, and she doesn't know how, which was very much how I was feeling. <laughs> Nothing tenure track? Uh, no, but I am making a web show. Really? We're gonna make bitter melon soup. But it's not going very well. It tastes so freaking bitter. Ugh. Like the bitter tears of disappointment. So it's a show about reinventing yourself. I want to make this cooking show work. Really, in her case, it's about taking the leap for the first time. As a woman, you have to make opportunities happen for yourself. Make the show. That's your baby. And that it's never too late to start. When life hands you bitter melons, make a bitter melon cocktail. Ooh. You obviously love cooking. Cooking must be a passion. It is. It is. So um, tell me about your cooking. I mean, like, I think I got my taste buds from my mother, who's an amazing cook, who had to cook for nine children her entire life. And I was self-taught, and I, I happened to kind of glom onto it at the time when places like the Cooking Channel and the Food Network were actually hosting chefs that were teaching new things. But I think the reason why I like it, it's something I can throw caution to the wind. I can just try a recipe, see if it works. If it works and I invite people over, awesome. Uh, <laughs> if it doesn't work, we're in New York, we can order pizza. <laughs> Constance is a great cook and she posts her recipes and her acting adventures on Instagram at Constance Cooks. So you mentioned your mom. Where are you from originally? So I'm originally from North Carolina. You're Southern, what? <laughs> Accent, girl. Hey, I got an accent. I can put on an accent for days. <laughs> now I want to do hey, that show. Hey, I want to do that show. <laughs> it's all there. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So Constance and I met through Self Management for Actors, which was created by Bonnie Gillespie. Bonnie is an indie casting director who wrote the book Self Management for Actors. She also created a 100 day online program called Get in Gear for the Next Tier, which has a fabulously supportive community. So, one of the things I love about New York is finding out what other people love about New York. And you mentioned Bethesda Fountain. So can you tell me why it's so special to you? I grew up in North Carolina, as I said. And at the time, American Theater Magazine used to publish in the center a play. And Tony Kushner's play, Millennium Approaches, was published. And I remember vividly reading it and freaking out over how amazing this play was. And wanting to be in New York so I could be a part of that production somehow. Just, I mean, witness it, to see it. But I also was waiting like crazy for the next installment. I, was, I felt like I was, you know, in Dickens' time, waiting for his next installment. Right. This fountain is featured in Perestroika, uh, the second part of, of Angels in America. I actually, when I first moved to New York, lived in this area, so I used to come by the park a lot. And I think it was a time of transition for me. So between Tony Kushner and just witnessing this space in New York, um, it just became very special to me. Beautiful. Yeah. I was doing research for our show, and I also found out that this was the first uh, public commission by New York of a woman artist. Uh, wow. Now I know that there's a feminist side to this statue, too. This eight-foot-tall bronze statue was designed by Emily Stebbins in 1868, and she called it the Angel of the Waters. 
All right, so I'm pulling out Perestroika because, you know, I'm a theater geek, I have things like this. The other time that this came back was during the events of 9-11. And the place where I worked wanted to do something as, a, as sort of a memento of healing to our clients. So I, I came back to this play again. And uh, at the very end of the play, Pryor says, Pryor Walter, this disease will be the end of many of us, but not nearly all. And the dead will be commemorated and we will struggle on with the living and we are not going away. We won't die secret deaths anymore. The world only spins forward. We will be citizens. The time has come. By now, you are fabulous creatures, each and every one, and I bless you. More life. The great work begins. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. This play was written 25 years ago, over 25 years ago, and I feel like we need this more than ever. <laughs> Coming off of that beautiful, beautiful reading, if you had any advice you would give to your younger self, what would it be? Um, I think it would be little Connie, don't despair. You are smart and beautiful and an amazing artist. You are a late bloomer, <laughs> but late bloomers rock. Late bloomers! Late bloomers! <laughs> because by the time things start to pop, literally, you now have the tools to handle it with health and balance and grace. You will find your path. Beautiful. It's gonna be amazing. Yay. Live in joy. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much, Constance, for joining me on Laura Loves New York. And Constance is gonna try and teach me to cook, which those of you out there who know, I don't cook. <laughs> so that's gonna be a lot of fun. But thank you so much. And we'll see you next time on Laura Loves New York. Woo! Oh, I'm so excited. Ha <laughs> ha!